Alright guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful fall day here in the end times. It is this, this, you know, picture perfect, postcard perfect day in the end times. It is a Thursday. I believe that's November 10th, and it is about 65 degrees out here. Today I am out here uh, cooking up one of my uh, fellow earthlings, although I think the flame might have gone out. Am I out of propane again? Am I out of that damn fracked propane again? So I'm out here pretending like it's summer for one more day. Rain blowing in tomorrow, which we need, and then uh, talking about our snow next week. So, and these nice Amish young men came and <laughs> built me a, a greenhouse out on the top of my septic mound. So, uh, this is my six by six foot cage where. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to wrap this whole thing up in, uh, in clear plastic. And this is where uh, my cage, where I will be spending as much time as I can trying to pretend like it is not goddamn that I'm not sitting in Antarctica. So anyway. That's what I am up to on this absolutely gorgeous day. Gotta get that damn camper under a tarp. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you how I began this gorgeous day. This actually began last night, and I just want to talk about fucking assholes. Just, just assholes. So, uh, I did this rant while that little eco pussy over at Collapse Chronicles did this rant a couple of days ago about one more time explaining why I do not eat beef or seafood, but I do eat pork and chicken. Over and over again, I've had this rant over the years, and where this rant began, the first time I had this rant, uh, was right when Humpty Dumpty Drive was brand new and I read this book and it turns out I'm 99% sure this is the book uh, and I just realized this last night when I was looking into it called Your Ecological Footprint. Not your carbon footprint, your ecological footprint and uh, it was written by William Reese. Uh, William Reese and what's that guy's name? Uh, Wackernagel. Uh, I can't remember. Malcolm Wackernagel from the Environmental Fair. Anyway, so I didn't even realize until last night it was written by William Reese. Now, William Reese is one of my great heroes of, of all times, of all of my, uh, of all my interviews on Collapse Chronicles, he is certainly in the top four or five people. William Reese understands as much as anybody on this fucking planet, and so does Mr. Wackernagel, uh, what's going on on this planet. And so, this now, Mr. Wackernagel, uh, his name is not Max, but it begins with an M, something like that. Uh, wrote another book years later without William Reese's name, but I'm talking about the book that was written in 1996. I'm 95% sure here, or it might be Wacker Nagel's updated version uh, a few years later. But as I recall, without having the book in front of me, you know, they were rating the uh, environmental impacts of your various diet, uh, you, you know, your lifestyle and consumer choices to help you figure out your ecological footprint, which is not the same as a carbon footprint. 
your carbon footprint is one small subset of the ecological footprint. I'm really getting fed up with, with, with uh, and I blame this on the limp dick lefties in the mainstream media as much as anyone, you know, harping on and on and on and on and on about the carbon footprint, ignoring, uh, you know, the other 90% uh, of your fucking ecological footprint. Uh, anyway, that's a whole nother rant for a whole other time. As I recall, so what he does in there, one more time, uh, William Reese and this other guy, assuming I have the right book, uh, they rate the, the ecological impact of various foods. And what they came up with is you take all your foods, you know, they, they looked at all the different meats, a bunch of vegetables, dairy, eggs, all the uh, usual suspects, and boiled it all down and came up where you look at, you just glance at the charts in the, in the book and you will see that it is beef and seafood that uh, just completely outweigh all the rest of your dietary choices. I mean by orders of magnitude. As a, I recall, beef was rated at 18, and then seafood was off the charts. I believe I recall it being 28. Beef and seafood, 18 and 28, and then uh, you know, you have your next clump coming in, as I recall, so anywhere between like four and seven. I'm talking like one-fourth to one-third the ecological impact of beef and about, you know, one-sixth the ecological impact uh, of seafood. Uh, not the carbon footprint. The ecological footprint okay and uh, so then you get to your you know your pork and chicken and all of that stuff and while pork and chicken and, and other kinds of meat and dairy and eggs uh, you know while it has twice the carbon impact of a fucking potato or a bean you know, even a potato or a bean is going to have a, an ecological footprint. Uh, you know, a pork chop, a pork chop is a hell of a lot closer to the environmental impact of a, uh, uh, of a fucking uh, potato than it is to a hamburger or a steak. And uh, you put it next to fucking seafood and a pork chop, uh, you know, is almost like a gift to the goddamn planet. And I've never said that pork and chicken are good for the planet. I'm just saying uh, you, if you eliminate beef and seafood uh, out of your diet, those two fucking items, uh, you will reduce, you know, and trade beef and seafood in for pork and chicken. Uh, then, uh, you know, you will, uh, if, if saving the planet uh, is a concern of yours, and apparently reading the comments that saving the planet is no concern of vegans. So anyway, it, of course, it stirred up the usual uh, hornet's nest with all the vegans out there uh, over there at Collapse Chronicles, and I thought I was done with it. And then I go on to my email, my Humpty Dumpty tribe at gmail.com uh, email, because I still just put my fucking email address as Humpty Dumpty tribe at gmail.com, or there's Collapse Chronicles at gmail.com. And uh, so anyway, last night I get this fucking letter, uh, this long fucking email from this fucking asshole. I mean, out of nowhere. Uh, what is the motherfucker's name? I, I deleted it. So, uh, insight, inside insight. Or inside, inside. I think the guy's name is Vince. Is uh, never met this motherfucker. Okay, it's just like it's just like with Sat Twelve. 
never met this motherfucker. I have no clue who this motherfucker is. Never met him, never spoke to him. The guy knows nothing about me, and he comes, I mean, this long fucking uh, email with all of this fucking attitude and, and all of this shit, wanting to see my sources. He's particularly talking about seafood, so what he, obviously this man eats seafood and doesn't feel damn guilty about it and wants to know my source about where seafood uh, got such a bad rap and uh, insinuating that I just pulled this out of my fucking ass, giving me all of this fucking attitude. And I'm reading this, this fucking bullshit from this motherfucker. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I ought to just reply back to this motherfucker. Uh, you, you know, something like, uh, do not ever speak to me in that tone again. Do you understand? I mean, the guy was completely uh, out of fucking line. I would read you some of this email, but as I say, I flushed it down the fucking toilet and uh, banned the guy from ever sending me a fucking email again. Uh, and so anyway, but at least what, uh, what this dude did for me is he did, uh, you know, f help me find the source, which I'm sharing with you. And when I found out the source came from William Reese, I'm 90% sure anyway, it really doubled down. But the whole point, as, as I told this motherfucker, is irrelevant because since that book was written, you have a bunch of documentaries, the number, the, the, the two main ones being End of the Line and Seaspiracy. So it was really watching End of the Line, which I watched about the same time I read your ecological footprint, that I stopped eating seafood. And then that documentary, I think from last year, called Seaspiracy. You don't need to go back and, and, and read this fucking book from 1996. Look at the fucking two, uh, look, look at the fucking, just watch those two documentaries. And, and, and that's all you fucking need to know, that uh, humans have no business eating fucking anything out of the fucking ocean. And so, you know, I told this asshole, uh, you know, to go watch these goddamn documentaries. And, uh, you know, then I added and... Uh, and, 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 I've, and I've told other people this, even not a big a assholes as, as, as this guy. And, and uh, it, it, you know, talking about the citing sources and footnoting. And I said, you know, if, if someone wants to pay me 50000 fucking dollars uh, to be a goddamn full-time professional journalist, uh, you know, I'll cite my sources. You know? I got a fucking life here trying to uh, get some shit accomplished here. Uh, it, 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 you know, I call them as I see them. Uh, do, you, do you guys think, what do you guys think? Do you think I'm making 50,000 fucking dollars a year uh, on here? You know? So I sent him that fucking email thinking, Jesus Christ, uh, maybe that's the end of that motherfucker. So I just uh, checked my email all this morning. I, you know, I, I get up and I check my email from this motherfucker who I should have just said, uh, don't you ever talk to me in, in that tone of voice. Uh, do you understand? And uh, I open up my email and I have a new email from... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from this, uh, you know, this fucking fatuous gas bag, and uh, he goes, don't you ever talk to me in that tone of voice again. Do you understand? <laughs> uh, God, and my response back was me, go fuck yourself. You fatuous asshole. Do you understand? 
and, and then I fucking blocked his ass. It's real easy to block somebody on Gmail if you don't know how to do it. Uh, all you do is uh, you get a message from some fucking asshole, some, some fatuous gas bag like this motherfucker. What you do is you go up above the email and in the very top right hand corner there's these three little dots this column of three dots it might have the word more by the three dots or it might not have the word more by those three dots you go up to those three dots you click on those three dots and or the word more and uh, there it is block this motherfucker so I went to the three dots and hit it, and, and I blocked this motherfucker. But I'm just thinking, you know, good fucking God. Uh, you, you know, what, what is this fucking uh, planet coming to? It's talking about last night uh, how this Trump tard shot and killed his next-door neighbor on Saturday because he thought he was a Democrat and I guess didn't want him voting in the midterms. Kill the motherfucker. I, I, I mean, these crazy motherfuckers will kill you. Uh, you know, I mean, people who know nothing the fuck about you. Uh, anyway. I mean, why do we put up with this shit? You know, it used to be... It used to be, just until recently, that, uh, you know, about 98% uh, of the people that I have blocked on, uh, you know, on my goddamn email and phone and everything are, are, are these fucking psycho bitches. You know, I, I mean, I remember checking one time and, and I had I'd blocked 15 different women and two men. In my entire life, uh, <laughs> uh, block, you know, it was always these fucking psycho bitches uh, that I used to date and used to fucking uh, getting all pissed off at me about something and going fucking psycho on me. But, but you know, at least with, with a psycho bitch, and the flip side works with, with uh, women and men, you know, it, it, at least with these fucking psycho bitches... You know, I got some fucking pussy off of them. You know, I got something. Uh, you know, at least I can let, like, motherfucker get this fucking psycho bitch out of my life. But at least I got some fucking pussy out of this deal. But, but these motherfuckers like this dude and that motherfucker sat 12. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. How many guys uh, that I've never fucking met, sure as hell never gotten any pussy off of them, putting up with this shit. You know, coming in right you know, in my in my private fucking email, uh, going off on all of this shit, uh, talking to me in some fucking tone of voice, uh, like you know, like fuck you, fuck you. Anyway, I think my uh, save the planet uh, farm raised pork. It's getting done. I got to go sauce up my uh, fellow earthlings to save the planet so I can virtue signal that uh, I do not eat beef or seafood. And uh, fucking inside, inside. I hope he fucking chokes on a fucking, I don't know, a, a fucking grouper or a shark fin. Telling me, sends me to some bullshit called how to prevent overfishing how to prevent overfishing put every one of those cocksuckers at the fucking bottom of the ocean every motherfucking uh fishing boat on this planet send it to the fucking bottom of the ocean that'll prevent overfishing and send those motherfucking cruise ships down there with them and uh obviously the only real solution is to uh let humans go extinct Give this fucking ocean and the rest of this planet a fucking break. Anyway, I got some pork chops with my name on it, and Sancho Bonds is ready. And you say, Pop, would you get the pork chops off? Would you stop ranting? 
Anyway, get out there and enjoy this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day before old man winter hits in a few days. Bye, guys.